Hi, this video is a follow-up video of two earlier videos that I did on styling documents. If you are new to styling or would like to know more about how to style your documents in LibreOffice, I invite you to first check out these earlier videos, the link to which I have included in the description below. The question that this video tries to answer is, can I use styling that I have done in one document inside another document? Many people have to create similar documents repeatedly, like monthly reports, etc. And therefore, it is logical to ask if styling done in a previously created document can be replicated in a new document. The short answer to this question is yes. And in this video, we will see how. So let's start. So here I have a document that I have styled. This is just a sample document. I have put in a little header here. And then um, I have uh, created a heading one style. And um, I can do this by just simply um, coming here and clicking on this styles icon. And then right clicking and modify. And as explained in my earlier videos, you can go to different tabs and change this styling as you wish. So I have done this styling for heading one. Then I have done some styling for uh, the default paragraph. And uh, this is in Calibri light font. And then I've done some styling for heading two. Um, I have uh, done some styling for the, uh, for, the, for the picture captions. And these picture captions are appearing in a certain kind of font and centered uh, onto this picture. And then I have also created a small footer. So this is how my document is styled at this particular point in time. And I have to do such documents again and again. So I want to save this template and possibly use this in future documents such that I don't have to you know, spend time repeating uh, all the hard work that I have done to style this particular document. So um, what I'm going to do now is um, you will notice that this is this document is ODT or a text document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on this save icon and click on this little uh, drop down uh, that I see here. And then I'm going to save it as a template. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. So it comes back with a small dialogue. It first wants a name. So let me just say this is my report or let me say this is my monthly report. And the category in which I want to save this uh, template is my templates. So I'm going to come down here and click on this. And once I'm on this, I will just go ahead and uh, press save. If uh, this is the primary work that I'm doing, and I don't want to, you know, kind of choose every time that I open a document. I also have an option to set this as the default template. So whenever you're going to open a new document, this styling will be automatically transferred. Uh, for this video, I'm not going to do this, but this is a choice that you can actually make. So I'm just going to go ahead. I've given a name and then I've chosen my templates and then I'm going to go ahead and press save. So when I do this, this template has now been saved. So where exactly has this template been saved? To find that out, we can come to File and then choose Templates. And then uh, from this menu, choose Manage Templates. So when we click on this, a small dialog opens. And this is the place where uh, LibreOffice 7 has all its templates. And if you want to see them all, you can just click on this drop down and click on all categories. So you will see a lot of templates that come with LibreOffice 7, including the one that you have created. But if you wanted to see only the ones that you have created, you can just come here uh, and click on this and choose my templates. So when you do that, this is the template that uh, we have just saved. And this is visible from this particular place. If, uh, for example, we created a template and saved it at some other location, 
you can also import that template into this space by clicking on this button and then just choosing my templates and pressing OK and then just simply pointing to that particular uh, template and uh, bringing it in inside this particular space. So we're going to close this uh, uh, dialog box for the moment. Now, how can you save a template at a location of your choice? Uh, you can just simply come here, file and save as uh, the default is ODF text document. You can choose to save it as a template. So when you do this kind of a save, um, it will ask you for a location and you can save your template at any desired location of your choice. And then you can come to file and templates and manage templates and then um, click on import and then that template can actually be brought into my templates space. So this is how you can actually save a template at any other location and bring it inside uh, the my template space using the import button here. Uh, but if you were to follow the, the directions that I have given earlier, like whenever you want to save a template, the best way to do it is to just come here and click on this drop down and save as template, which will ensure that your template will be saved in the default template space of uh, LibreOffice. Okay, now that we have a template saved, how exactly can we use that template to bring in the styling inside a new document or an existing document? So there are a few scenarios and I will explain each one of these scenarios uh, starting with scenario number one. Let's say we want to start a fresh document and bring in all the styling from the template that we have saved before. So let me just come here and close this file. So file and close and I'm starting a new document. So I'll just click on this writer document icon and a fresh document is created. Uh, you will notice that the styling here in this new document is the default styling that LibreOffice 7 writer uses. So if I wanted to bring in the styling of the monthly report that I had created, um, I can just come here to the right hand side and click on this styles. If you don't see this, the expanded version of this, um, it is possibly because um, it is hidden uh, on the right hand side. Just click on this little arrow and it will expose itself. And then just come here and click on styles. Now, once you have done that, uh, just come to the extreme right and it's, uh, there's an icon for style actions. Click on this uh, little arrow right here. And then just come to the last option. It says load styles from template. So when we click on this, it opens the dialog box. And in the my templates category, you will see the template that you had stored before. And what you can do is to click all these checkboxes on and then just go ahead and press OK. So when you do that, um, the styling uh, of the saved monthly report is now applied to your blank document and you will notice that heading one has changed and the default paragraph has changed and uh, so has heading two. So when you start writing your document and uh, styling your document heading one for example um, and then come here and click on the heading one styling you will get the uh, same styling as uh, was done in your monthly report template. The same will apply to any text that you type, which will be in the default paragraph style. And if you remember, it is uh, having Calibri light fonts, etc., etc. So this is scenario number one. When you start with a blank document, you can easily bring in your styling from your previous template by clicking on this and then coming and loading styles from template and then just simply clicking on my templates and choosing the style. If there were more styles that you had saved, you can just come here and click on uh, those styles and uh, making sure that these checkboxes are on. Um, and I'll tell you why this is, uh, this might be a good practice. Just go ahead and press OK and all that styling is going to come back into your document and you can then just simply move forward. You will notice that we have also got the same footer and header in this particular case. So this is scenario number one. 
The second scenario is when you already have a document that you have typed and you wanted to bring in the styling from a previous template. Um, we can do the exact same thing here. We have a document which is not styled, but we have uh, text already inside this document. We can do the exact same thing as scenario one. Just come here to style actions, click on this uh, drop down and load styles from template. And then just simply making sure that these checkboxes are on. And by doing this, you are uh, overwriting uh, any previous styling that has been done using the styling that is contained inside the monthly report. Hence, the need to make sure that these checkboxes are on. Currently, we don't have any styling, so this would not matter really, but then it's a good practice to keep them checked on. So just click on the template that you want to use and click on OK. And so that styling now comes inside this document. And henceforth, when you start styling, um, you will get the exact same style, which would also mean that if you were to come here and right click and caption uh, this particular picture, um, you would get your captions in the same font and centered as was present in the uh, the monthly report uh, style. So if you were to come here and press OK, um, you will notice that the caption is nicely centered and it is having the same font as was used in the monthly report template. So likewise, if you were to come here and choose heading 2, um, you would get it in the exact same um, style as was there in the monthly report template. So this is scenario two. You already have text which is not styled. So you can uh, bring in the styling exactly like the case was in scenario one and then just keep working and styling your document using the styles in that particular template. The third scenario could be that you already have a document that is styled. Uh, but it is styled differently, maybe in the default styling, uh, like you have heading one here and heading two here, but they are in a different style. And you have uh, captions for a picture, which are again, uh, like left aligned and so on and so forth. So you already have a style document and you wanted to change the styling of this document to your template. So the process is exactly the same. Uh, just come here, click on style actions, choose load styles from templates, and then just go ahead and pick up from the my templates section monthly report. It is now very important that these are checked because we are trying to overwrite the styling in the present document with the styling that is contained inside the monthly report. So we will just go ahead and press OK. And you will notice that the styling of the uh, document has now changed and uh, it is now completely conformal to the styling of the monthly report uh, template. So also notice that this was left aligned. Now it is aligned in the center. So every uh, element of styling that was present in your monthly template style or any other style that you have saved can now be reflected inside the, the document that you had in a different styling. So this is scenario three. Finally, in scenario four, you can actually start a document using the template. Go to file, go to new, and then instead of clicking on text document, you can come to templates and then just pick up your template and press open. So when you do that, you have the whole of monthly report template right here. And you can, you know, start uh, changing the headings and start changing the text. And you can then uh, proceed with your document because all the styling of the previously saved template is now included inside this particular document. Please note in all these scenarios, whenever you want to save a document, for example, in this particular case, it will always save as a normal text document and not as a template. So this is something that I want to point out. Finally, any saved style that you have, you can always go to template and edit it. And say, for example, if you wanted to edit your monthly report OTT, you can just simply come here and press open. And then you can make changes to any styling that you wanted to actually include or delete. And then once that has happened, uh, you can just come here and press save. 
and whatever changes you have made in your style will actually get saved and whenever you use that style uh, the next time uh, those changes will be reflected inside the document one final thing if you were to come to file and go to templates and then come to manage templates you will find all your saved templates inside this box and you can right click on this box to set any template as default you can edit it you can delete it and you can also rename it so all these actions are possible just right click on any template and choose an option so this is how you can save the styling that you have applied to one document as a template and use that template to style other documents thanks for watching